Hi everyone, my name is Brendan Clinch. I'm a solutions architect who works pretty exclusively with the Aruba line of products. And uh, today, I wanted to help you as you got your 303H kit uh, in the mail or on your doorstep. I want to help us take a peek at what's inside, make sure we got everything, and make sure we get connected to Aruba's cloud management platform, Aruba Central. So let's get ahead and get started. So the first thing you should have when you open up the box um, is the 303H itself, this Aruba AP, and it should be connected already to this desk mount stand. Again, this is the desk mount kit that you can get from but there are other options if you want to order separately to mount it to like a, a wall jack or an ethernet jack on the wall you can certainly do that but for today's kit we're just going to be looking at the desk mount kit which should have this included as well as a couple of other things besides the ap and the desk mount itself the next things you should look for are the power adapter and the power cord to connect to that power adapter this will allow you to power the ap straight from a wall if you're not going to be using poe or poe plus like i am today to do the demonstration um, you can certainly power it this way and you should have that included in your kit so make sure that's there as well. And then lastly, you should have some documentation in there to help you get started, double check what you've got on the list and show you the next steps that we're gonna be taking a peek at. So let's take a peek at this AP itself, right? The, the 303H, this is a really unique form factor for an AP. Why is it this shape? Well, it's for versatility, right? This is the desk mount uh, kit like we talked about a second ago, but there are options to take it off this desk mount and to mount it to, to the wall. Again, that's a separate adapter, but the whole point of this AP is to give you that versatility. But Aruba does have other options if you're used to mount more on like a ceiling, a ceiling grid, silhouette style, whatever, even even a flat uh, mount ceiling or flat mount wall up high. There are certainly options to do that. Uh, probably a little bit more of a form factor you used to seeing where you mount it's a little bit more of a round shape for the AP. Um, but there's also outdoor models as well. If you want to hang it on, on a light pole or on a on a on an outdoor wall, um, on a flat surface or on an overhang, there's all kinds of options, all kinds of APs for any sort of circumstance you can need. Aruba has got you covered. But just to get started, um, like I said, the first thing we want to do is give it power and give it data. I am powering it via PoE Plus via a switch we have in the lab. Um, the benefit of powering this via PoE Plus or the uh, power adapter into the wall is there. there is, uh, in this 303H, there's an option. Um, you can see that little red port. That gives you PoE out. And so if you're powering this via PoE Plus or that, that wall adapter for power, you can actually give PoE out to say so like a voice over IP phone or something like that. If you're powering it just via standard PoE and not PoE Plus or the, the wall adapter, um, you won't be able to do that PoE out, um, but you will have a fully functional 303H otherwise. So the quickest way to do this, like I said, I'm powering this via a switch in the, in the back uh, via PoE Plus. And the quickest way to do this is to feed it through the back there, right? There's that back um, entrance and, and don't go up through the bottom. That's, that's the initial inclination. Um, but you're gonna not be able to sit it flush if you do that. So you want to go in through the back there, and then again, this uh, this little ETH zero port on the bottom. I'm gonna connect it to. Um, you'll see it's right on the very end, and I'm gonna hold this up so you can see the lights change as soon as I do this. And we got red, and then it's gonna go to green and flashing, and that means we're good to go, we're booting up, we're pulling down our configuration. So the only thing you wanna make sure of, if, if you're powering it via the power adapter instead of via PoE or PoE Plus, you just wanna make sure that you have data running again into that Ethernet Zero port there on the bottom. Um, so that you have give it data connectivity. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to connect to central. We're not going to be able to manage it from the cloud platform. There are other options for management. If we took a 303H out of the box that wasn't being managed via central and we didn't already have this preloaded in there, um, you would go into what was called a set me up menu. It's a wireless over the air provisioning method. If you're used to working with Aruba Instant, that's probably a familiar step to you. The 303H, as well as this new breed of APs coming from Aruba, um, they now have this unified software that allows you to manage it in any of these platforms at any given time. Um, and so initially when it boots up that way, you would see a set me up SSID um, that you would connect to and provision it over the air. But because we're connecting this to central today, and we're managing it via that way, it's gonna wait. As soon as it gets connected, it gets booted up and everything's ready to roll, it's actually gonna connect to central um, to see what it should be sending out. So you won't see that set me up SSID. What you're gonna do is you're gonna log into central and set up your first network there, and we're gonna do that right now. So you should have received an email from Aruba at some point to get you set up with your account. Uh, this email that you you receive this email at to log into central just to get some information from you and once you click that you'll be able to log into central so once you click that link and get all set up and get logged into central um you should be at this default screen um which will be your your monitoring and report screen like you can see right here i've, I've got uh circling around on the left here um and again this is the main screen we get to we're in the network overview portion um, you won't see this little section here. This is just our, our current setup as a, as a managed service provider. Um, you won't see that. You'll just see this little app selector. Um, if I click on that, there's a couple of options here that I want you to notice. So we've got monitoring reports, wireless management, wired management, 
maintenance and global settings. To get rolling, really what we want to do is we want to go ahead and set up our, our wireless management. So I clicked that current app um, and monitoring reports brought up this little pop-up window and I'm going to click wireless management. When I do that, you might see this or you might not, but basically what we want to do is we want to get into the group that we want to configure. So um, if you don't, if you see all groups or if you only see one option, just go into that one, but we're going to go into this virtual controller. This will most likely be what you see um, where it says set me up. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And that will bring me to my main network screen. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go out into this little addition uh, button on the bottom. We're going to click that. And that'll bring us to our network setup, which if you've ever worked with Aruba Instant, a lot of this stuff is going to seem um, very familiar to you. A lot of the steps are, are very familiar. And if you haven't, it's going to be very intuitive. You'll see that right away. So we're going to go ahead and call this 33H Central Setup. And I'm going to leave it as a wireless type of, of network, uh, as an employee usage. There's all kinds of settings in here if we want to get into the advanced stuff with transmit rates and bandwidth limits and time range profiles. But for now, just to get you guys up and running, we're just going to set this up just so I can show you with some default settings. So I'll scroll down and I'll click next. Go ahead and leave this as network assigned as long as you've got uh, DHCP, your IP addressing coming from your network that can dole out that DHCP connectivity for, for data connectivity to your devices. Just go ahead and leave this as network assigned and leave the client VLAN assignment as default unless you want to change that. So the next screen is our, is our uh, security settings, right? We're going to make it WPA2 personal. There are a couple options here, um, but obviously WPA2 is the recommended uh, since, we're, since we're set on personal. If I switched over to enterprise, you could see that it would, it would give me the option to do WPA2 enterprise, um, but I'm going to keep it on personal. Um, and I've already got my password filled in there, but you can change your passphrase format if you want to. Um, but this will just give you that security that you need to get logged in. Now we're at the access settings. We can we can leave it as unrestricted just for testing purposes if you so choose. Or you can go ahead and set up network-based rules, kind of like a standard ACL. Or we can set up a role, which will have several network-based rules applied to it, and we'll just apply that immediately. But for now, just again, just to get you up and rolling, we'll leave it as unrestricted. We'll click Finish. And uh, when we do that, we can now see that our 33H central setup SSID is present. So just to confirm that, there's a couple things I can do. I'm going to get into my wireless networks. You won't be able to see me select it, but you will see um, when I've got it selected, it's going to ask me um, for the password. And so there we go. You can see that it's bringing up my, my prompt for my password here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click join. Then I'm going to go back over just to see. Again, we've been in wireless management. Let's go back into our app selector. I'm going to click monitoring and reports again. And that will bring me back to our to our main screen of our uh, of our APs and our, our reviews um, and basically if I if I can again I can kind of see if I click this drop down box on my list of APs I've just got this one three three H um, set up um, and as you can see uh, there we go it's green means it's up and good to go we see which channel we're on on the five gigahertz band which channel we're on on the two point four gigahertz band and which IP address we're getting um, but we can see that we are good to go uh, in terms of connection. I've connected to that access point. We see that it's up. There's zero down access points. I've just connected to it on my wireless network screen. So that's that's pretty much it. That'll that'll do it in terms of showing you exactly what you need to do to get a network up and running on Aruba Central. So as you can see, Aruba's made a very simple yet very powerful platform in cloud network management using Aruba Central. And I hope you've enjoyed getting connected with your 3 h today up to the cloud in Aruba Central, showing how we first created our first wireless network that way. Please feel free to take a peek around in Aruba Central. There's a little question mark there in the top that you can click on to get either online help documents, uh, an online help guide, um, or it'll actually show some things in green. If you look at your screen when you click on that, it'll show some text in green. If you just highlight your mouse over, it'll tell you exactly what you're looking at and what those settings will do. Otherwise, have fun with your 303H. Have fun with Aruba Central. We'll see you later. Bye.